Precious people and wonderful people, I greet you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I say good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Pastor Oshin Amandish coming to you to share with you a prophetic message. And this is a message that I received in 2022. During that time when I was praying, God revealed to me a tree. This was a, a, a tree like a shrub, very green. And that tree uh, was green as you can uh, imagine any green tree now the tree started to turn its leaves into brownish and um, the tree began to wither as i tried to understand what it meant because i was praying for our nation um, the lord revealed to me that this tree is a political party this is not an individual so i wanted to understand what was the meaning the message came through at the the story in the book of Jonah and I'm going to leave that scripture at the end of this message and but I want you to follow me very well. God provided a shrub, a tree to cover Jonah so that he could do, um, have a, a sort of a shade and a shelter. In the following morning, uh, God sent a worm and it ate that shrub. So he was very angry to extend that. He said, I'm angry even unto death. And God was trying to send a message to say, how can you be angry um, on a tree that uh, you never planted, that was you, 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 the tree that was provided for you, that grew on its own, you never planted. Uh, how can I not be concerned with the people if you are angry on a tree? How can I not be concerned with the people of uh, Nineveh who does not know uh, their left and their right hand? What God was trying to, 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 to do was to send a message to Jonah that you can't be angry. I'm very concerned with the uh, multitudes or the people in the city of Nineveh, uh, but you are angry on this tree. So this is the same message that uh, God was revealing that uh, this tree is going to uh, wither. It's a political part that was standing for a long time and is going to wither. Its leaves are going to, to turn into brownish, yellowish, some of them falling, eventually it will wither uh, and um, it won't be as green as it was before. So this is the message that God was saying. So when Jonah was angry, um, the message came to say we need to pray for the understanding. As Jonah could not understand the language that God was saying, the people who were who are under this tree or who were under this tree may not be uh, understanding why things are happening, why leaves are falling, why the tree is withering. It's a message to them because God is concerned with the populace of Zimbabwe, uh, the citizens of Zimbabwe, as the same as he was uh, concerned with the people of the city of Nineveh. So this is the message that the Lord was giving me. So the reason why I'm sharing this message is for us to understand what is going to happen or what you are going to see or what is uh, actually happening gradually. The falling away of leaves, the withering of the, the tree gradually, gradually. And the, the message that is being sent, God is concerned with the people. Uh, they were under that tree so that they will fulfill the duty like Jonah was sent to, to, to Nineveh. But in our case, as I will try to um, um, give this illustration according to what God was giving me of the scripture in order for us to understand, is that uh, they were there because of the people, not for themselves. Jonah was very selfish. That's why he uh, was very angry because he wanted that shed to continue to be upon his head. For as I've, I conclude this message, we need to pray for the understanding. If there is no understanding, people will vent those who are under this tree that is going to wither, that is withering uh, or that is already started. They will vent their anger towards the people. Uh, yet the, these are the same people that were given um, to them they were supposed to save so that they will realize the message um, that God is sending to them and the tree is going to wither and it's going to wither there is no uh, returning back on that let's 
us listen to this um, story in Jonah of Jonah. Jonah, chapter 4. But it displeased Jonah exceedingly, and he was very angry. And he prayed unto the Lord, and said, I pray thee, O Lord, was not this my saying when I was yet in my country? Therefore I fled unto Tarshish, for I knew that thou art a gracious God, and merciful, slow to anger, and of great kindness, and repentest thee of the evil. Therefore now, O Lord, take, I beseech thee, my life from me, for it is better for me to die than to live. Then said the Lord, Doest thou well to be angry? So Jonah went out of the city, and sat on the east side of the city, and there made him a booth, and sat under it in the shadow, till he might see what would become of the city. And the Lord God prepared a gourd, and made it to come up over Jonah, that it might be a shadow over his head, to deliver him from his grief. So Jonah was exceeding glad of the gourd. But God prepared a worm when the morning rose the next day, and it smote the gourd that it withered. And it came to pass, when the sun did arise, that God prepared a vehement east wind. And the sun beat upon the head of Jonah, that he fainted and wished in himself to die, and said, It is better for me to die than to live. And God said to Jonah, Doest thou well to be angry for the gourd? And he said, I do well to be angry, even unto death. Then said the Lord, Thou hast had pity on the gourd, for the which thou hast not labored, neither madest it grow, which came up in a night and perished in a night. And should not I spare Nineveh, that great city wherein are more than six score thousand persons that cannot discern between their right hand and their left hand, and also much cattle?